What's going on, everybody? Good evening, good evening. I know two for one today on videos. So uh, earlier today, uh, I want to say it had to be early afternoon, um, someone sent something to me in a group chat, and I was like, hey, I don't have an eBay store, so I have no idea what's going on. I don't even sell on eBay anymore. I gave it up because the price they want to charge is just enormous to where else I could sell on. I mean, basically, what they charged for a store fee on eBay, I could have my own website. And guess what the best part is? My processing fee is probably 20% of what they're charging. So, and plus, I just don't like how they handle um, the return issues that they have there, we'll call it. Even with this new um certification stuff that they're doing out there we'll see how that goes but when you look at this here it came out i think it was a couple days ago um basically you know when you get your ebay policy updates you have to click on and you scroll through all the stuff somebody actually scrolled through it all and i'd probably be like a person like me i used to do this too but if you look, the second quarter category down, sports card, memorabilia, cards, fan shop, big old thing there, it's going up 0.55%. Coins and paper money, same thing. But though that was the biggest of any category going up, even if it went up at all, it just shows that they're just keep on charging more and more. And whether their thought process is, oh, well, now we have this certification program thing going on so we need to charge more because we're paying for it i think that's kind of crazy i mean even auction houses i mean i got it usually if you're big cards it's a 10 percent uh, buyer's premium and then whatever you work in your deal on to it too but that's for larger cards now the one thing that did stay the same on sports cards that any portion of a sell over seventy five hundred dollars drops 2.35 percent Here's where I come into play and is thinking, how many people have a card worth over $7,500? There's a lot of people out there that don't. So, I mean, that will never really apply to a good chunk of people out there just because either, you know, they never hit anything that big open in a box or they're just not going to put that kind of money into a card. You know, it's just, it's that way out there. I could probably think of, oh, at least a dozen people I know that would fit in that category. Nothing wrong with it at all. I mean, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you luck out. Sometimes you hold stuff for years and it shoots way up. And you luck out on to it too. But eBay just should have this in a separate email to show this piece here without having to scroll through it. So if you didn't know, March 1st, you're going to be paying more into uh, final value fees that they call it. Um... Wow, I mean, I don't know how much more it could really go up. You're talking 12.9%. Although I did hear some people say they were paying 15%, which I didn't really understand because this is the standard selling fees here. This isn't the shop thing or any deals that you have worked with eBay because you're a, what do they call it, a power seller and trusted seller and all that other stuff that you used to be able to get onto it. Um, you guys hear Pug just come running down here. She's ready for bed. But just by looking at it, just, I'm just in shock by it because when you go through a lot of the other categories and stuff onto here, people sell on eBay, they don't get hit as hard as the sports car community does, which is a shame. And there's a lot of other platforms you could sell out there on, but people just don't use them because, hey, they don't get the traffic eBay does. If you took 10 to 15% of the eBay traffic, and I'm talking about, you know, people that are regularly buying on there and selling and move them on to another platform, I mean, if they were getting charged 2, 3, 4%, I bet you'd be pretty happy onto it. It'd probably take off. But they just make enormous amounts of money, eBay. I I I still think that I would say within the next five years, sports cards will be at 
I talked about this about a year ago when they raised this up. Because I had a conversation at a time frame I was selling on eBay. And they said, oh, no, no, sir. We, we'll get you in this low introductory thing, fixed thing onto it. So they hooked me up, gave me a little percentages off, some points and stuff, which was nice. But for everybody else out there, I was like, man, that's just as harsh what they're hitting across the board with. And, well, I just don't agree with it. I'll just be flat out honest on to it. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think on to it. I know there's a lot of people that sell on eBay still on here. Um, I still use eBay in a way because I still send my stuff to DC Sports. Uh, and that's where his platform is for consignments. I just don't want to deal with the hassle anymore of dealing with eBay's customer service to having to put up with people trying to swap cards and send you the wrong thing back. Just been crazy, crazy on there from stuff I've seen. But I want to get this out just in case anybody has not seen this and, and didn't dig through the big, long click and a hey, review. Here's all of our do changes coming up, and then they embed it, you know, three quarters of the way down. Because when you first start scoring, you're like, oh, there ain't nothing on here. But let me know what you guys think. Are you guys still going to be selling on eBay? I know it's, um, you know, a larger, has larger eyes on to it and stuff like that. You do have other alternatives, such as my slabs, if your stuff slabbed by SGC, CGS, PSA, Beckett. And then, I mean, you got other places I've seen people now selling between Mercari, Etsy. I, I don't know what those prices, what they have to pay on that stuff. Heck, I've seen people now having Amazon on their stuff. But let me know what you guys think. Whatever you guys are using me, I'm just going to be flat out. I would use my slabs, my website, and card shows. I mean, that's mostly my three things there for using for avenues to sell other than my uh, lives or if I jump into somebody else's like kind of like zoom live that we do but other than that guys take care have a good one catch you all next video